All right, what's up, guys? AK Sting right here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you just the uh, few basic things you need to know, uh, basically, for beginners. If you're just starting out playing Minecraft, how to survive, basically. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find a tree, like I have here, and you just want to start punching the blocks of wood with your hand. If you just sit there and hold the right trigger, you will completely break it and you'll pick that log up. Once we get some wood, we can then start crafting some basic materials to get started. So what I like to do is I like to kind of just look around and see if there is any exposed stone so I don't have to dig down. Basically, once you get some, uh, get some wood, you want to find somewhere where there's some stone. Oh my gosh, there's so many horses right there. So up here, there is some stone that is exposed. So what I do uh, is I go ahead and I just transfer all of my logs into planks. I'll go ahead and I will create a crafting table. We're going to create some sticks. I usually do it twice, so we have eight sticks total. And then I'll go over one and we'll go ahead and craft one wooden pickaxe. Now with this pickaxe, I'm going to mine three pieces of stone. So now I have three pieces of cobblestone. So now if I go to the crafting table, I can now choose a stone pickaxe, which is much more efficient than the wooden pickaxe. It's a lot faster. It's just, it's nicer. <laughs> it lasts longer, stronger, faster. Uh, basically, your goal here is you want to continue to get better materials so that you can get better and better items, tools, so you can make better things, ultimately. So I've gotten a handful of uh, cobblestone here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a shovel, an axe. And I've ran out of sticks, so I need to go ahead and make more sticks. I'm going to also make a stone sword. Now, you don't have to do this. I just like having it in this specific order because I'm awkward. I always have, have it in the same order. So put this here because I'm gonna when I get torches I'll put them here um, but basically um, just in case you're not as familiar yet uh, whenever you craft an item for example if I want to craft a diamond pickaxe on the left hand side just below where my uh, cursor is you see where it shows the materials now it also shows you the placement so if you use classic crafting you know the placement uh, but when you are on an item You'll notice down at the bottom of the screen it says press X for more info. So if I press X on the item, it changes the right side, shows what is required, um, and then it shows the items or the ingredients to make it. So you know you need three iron ingots and two sticks. So that's for this one. Go ahead and create a furnace because I know I'm going to need that. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my stuff here. I'm going to get some food because it's on hard. You can starve to death. You don't want to starve to death. So, find uh, Monsieur Mumu over here. Kill him. Don't want to kill the horses because they don't give you food. I mean, if you want leather, they give leather. Um, but we're going to kill the pigs, the sheep, and the cows. So they give us some raw beef, some raw pork chops. I thought I saw a sheep somewhere. We want to kill a sheep because we want to get some uh, some wool so we can make a bed. I could have sworn I saw one. Oh, there it is. Found it. We want to be able to kill three, really. So now I have one piece of white wool. If I can get two more pieces of wool, any color, then I will be able to create a bed. You want to create a bed because it starts getting dark. Once it starts getting dark, all the monsters come out. Now you can either, one, sleep in the bed um, for just a brief second so that you have a spawn point. So if you die, you spawn there again. Or you can go ahead and just sleep in it until it kicks you out of the bed. And at that point, it'll basically, you'll skip to day. So if you don't want to deal with all the, all the bull crap at night with uh, creepers and zombies and evil skeletons coming out to kick your ass, then... You can always go to sleep. I think I am just about uh, there as far as food goes. Got, got a good amount of food now. 
Oh yeah, plenty of food. And I have enough to make a bed, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss down my crafting table here. And over here, I've got three pieces of wool, and I have three wooden planks, so I can make that bed. So now I'm ready for when it becomes nighttime. Now since I've got nothing better to do, I'm gonna go ahead and put down my furnace, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop some raw beef in here. Now, right now I don't have any coal, so I have to use wood to cook my food here. Now, I've got this down to an exact science that probably most people won't go through the trouble of, but I don't like to waste, so what I do is uh, I have actually determined what will smelt what. For example, one wooden pickaxe will smelt one item. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, also, one wooden plank smelts 1.5 items, so two of them will smelt three items. So I'm going to put four in there to smelt six items, which will leave one uncooked. Go ahead and eat one of these. Get my nom on. While I'm waiting for those to cook, I'm just going to take a quick peek around and see what's... Uh, ooh, there's a, there's a pumpkin over there. Um... Try and see what kind of land is where. I need a higher vantage point. Nope, it's not gonna let me. Oh, here we go. Nope. Nah, there we go. Okay, so looks like there's just hills over there. There's a really big one over to my left. Oh wow, what's that over there? I, that looks interesting. I just want to go over there because it looks interesting. I think that's where I'm going to go. Okay, so. I'm not going to make this a super long video. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'm just going to show you how to make just a basic house to uh, stay safe <laughs> through the night. Really don't need a whole lot. Uh, what we're going to do, or what I'm going to do rather, I'm just going to go ahead and run back over here to where all this exposed stone was, and I'm going to mine out a good chunk of stone. Which actually, you know what? I love the way this looks over here. To my left, it looks kind of like there's just a chunk missing right here. If you kind of see what I mean. Like there's like a square missing of this mountain. So what I'm going to do, i got to hurry. It's getting dark. I'm just going to clear some of this out here. Basically, I'm just kind of evening this out to uh, meet my standards. You know, you can pretty much do that however you'd like. It's just what I personally prefer. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to dig it down one. Almost got it here. There's coal. Look at that. We lucked out. So, since there's coal right here, what I can actually do now, I can make some torches. Ooh, there's a good amount, too. Awesome. So, we got a good amount there. I'm just going to pop some dirt in my inventory so that I can build up right here. So, now I've got, uh, it's starting to get dark, so I'm going to go ahead and just pop some, uh, cobblestone here make a basic structure if this horse will get out of my way now, I don't have a roof yet but what I'm actually going to do since I don't have a whole lot of cobblestone left I am going to Pop these down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to start cooking these just so that there's a little bit of light. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to 
I have sticks and coal, so I'm going to go ahead and make some torches. Pop them up right here. A little more light. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to make cobblestone slabs so that it's like I have a lot more cobblestone. I'm going to use this right above my wall for my roof. Now there's a horse in my house. And I don't have enough, so what that means is I am going to dig in just a teensy bit right here. Beauty of this is I can change this to pretty much whatever I want to. So, you know, maybe I decided that uh, this is going to be my main house and I'm going to dig this out and turn it into kind of like a little bedroom. And there we go. So now we've got just a slightly uh, moved in area here. I'm just going to toss down my bed right there and I'm going to put two more torches Oops, right there. I'm actually going to put one here and one here just so that there is plenty of light. Now I've got some more cobblestone, so I'm just going to make a few more slabs and I'm going to pop them down here. Now, one thing you might have noticed, I do not have a door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig this dirt out because I want it all to be cobblestone right there. I'm actually, I'm going to probably end up digging all of this out here. Luckily, I was able to create this without having a bunch of zombies or, you know, any mobs come chasing after me here. But uh, my pickaxe is about to break. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to mine up one, two, and I'm going to mine this out. Now, for now, I don't have a door yet, so I'm just going to pop that dirt block there. And now, here we go, birch doors, because... Oh, I had just enough for some birch doors. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that block and just come out here and pop down the door. Put a torch on all three sides like that. I'm just going to clear this out, make it look nice. Oh, but there's a skeleton. Run away. See, now the skeleton can't come in. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a spawn. Or create my spawn. And I'm going to skip today. Wait till it kicks me out of bed. Now, when I come outside, you can hear the skeletons dying. And I got some bones. Yay. I'm going to go over here and uh, see if I can get some bones from this guy. For some reason, when they're standing under the, under the tree, that's like the equivalent of no sunlight, and they stop burning. Basically, whenever... Uh, certain mobs, such as skeletons or um, zombies, are in sunlight, they just start catching fire. Creepers, however, those guys right there, those nasty buggers, they do not. They just stay alive. And they are evil. Easiest way to try and kill a creeper. Get some distance. Once it gets kind of close, start running. And then just hit him as many times as you can. And at the same time, after you've hit him, just start moving backward. And that usually will stop him from blowing up. And then you can kill him and get that gunpowder. That way you can uh, start making potions. Or you can make TNT. Whatever you see fit once you get further in. Uh, but as of right now, that was pretty much all I was going to show you for this video. Uh, just a little basic structure. Not really a very decorated house. <laughs> just kind of a structure to kind of stay safe uh, through the night and a few basic things you need to get started in Minecraft. And uh, I'll go ahead and I will create another video shortly uh, with specific um, methods for mining to gather resources. So definitely stay tuned for that one. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's pretty much everything here. 
Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video, and don't forget to subscribe as well. I will be putting videos out um, at least twice a week. I haven't decided which days yet, uh, but I will be uh, routinely putting videos out. So definitely keep, uh, keep an eye out there, and uh, I guess I will see you next time.